Next to last here is look at one of your slalom training runs. Some good turns in there, as you probably can see, some, uh, you know, skidded turns. Um, but your line is, is getting better and back to where it was a little while ago. So, good job there. Nice coming through here. You know, bring a little turn shape back. It's a great looking picture there. Didn't really get a pole plant in. We'd like to see a pole plant. Just block and plant. So there's a pole plant, right? Blocked. Uh, quite a pole plant. Didn't quite get it down. Another good looking turn here. Bringing turn shape back to the pole. Turning above it so the gate's right in our way. And there's your pole tap. That's all we need. Just a little tap that helps us just move to the new ski. And you could see you move to the new ski right there because you're your old ski, your downhill ski, your left leg, you can see the, the tip kind of off the ground. That's what we want to see. That's very common. Now it's completely off. You move to the new ski. That was perfect. All right. Ahead of it here. Great job. Little pull tap. Awesome. Good direction coming out of the hairpin. Great job. All looking really good. Rolled them up. Feet off from underneath us, level shoulders, blocked. Did we get a pole plant? No, we kind of ended up in the back seat now. You know, the hill now is going from flat, a little break over to a little steeper. We got to roll, move forward with the terrain, and the terrain kind of fell away from you, pushed you in the back seat, no pole plant. All of a sudden, kind of late going in here and had to chuck them sideways. Move forward with the terrain. Right. I'm not sure why we're kind of getting a little, you know, skiddy here all of a sudden. Flatten the skis out and skidded them sideways. Got to stand on that outside ski just like that. That was great, right? Came in here, stood on that left ski. Turn came right around. I'm not sure, you know, I don't know. Kind of skiddy and leaned in there. Yeah, there was some ice out there, I know, but. Um, flush. Didn't really come out with the direction we needed. You're hitting that and skis going down, down the hill, all right? You need to come out, have them pointed out above the next gate. So how do we do that? Well, we have to start, if, to get shape out here, we had to bring some shape here more than that. So you had to, you know, be pointed coming out of those, past those two gates, you know, a little bit more, because he's going that way, so we can come out with more shape. Because you didn't have a strong exit with good direction, you turned below it, now we're running the low line here, and what happened? You dumped all that speed on the flat, and that's something we don't want to do, so... But, you know, like I said, some really good stuff in there. Um, you know, when you were turning above it, being patient, getting out to rise line, shape back to the pole. With a pole plant, it was awesome. Uh, a couple times we just lost the outside ski, you know, kind of skidded the bottom of a turn. Um, you know, so strong on the outside ski uh, and, you know, a little flush. Any combination, when we need direction, if it's offset afterwards like that gate was, that you just went around there. We need to come out with shape, with direction, and that has to start earlier in the flush.